Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to get highest FPS in any game and lowest input delay, also lower ping. Your game will run smoother without any stutters and download the pack is in the description. So after download it, extract it and open it, you can see we also have three folders, two rec files and yeah, go to disk tweaks. And here, if you have HDD or SSD, you need to select what you have. So if you have HDD, run this and don't run this. If you have SSD, run only this. I have SSD, so I will run this. And uh, run a high priority if you have uh, one of these. Okay, if you have also if you have HDD or SSD, so hide it, write this. And we can go back. This disk tweaks um, just optimize our performance and disk write speed and make the disk faster so you will see um, improve FPS and lowering delay. Put RAM and here, okay, here is the Unpark CPU, run it and um, I really recommend this too because if you have parked cores like this, uh, you will really see lower your performance, okay, but if you set it to 100 and click apply, and now ok, um, it will make your CPU run as maximum performance and you will see the highest FPS. Also recommend you click again unpark call and apply. Now you can close this tool and disable IO latency cap, uh, this, this, this help you to lower latency, disable memory, disable large and cache and here is uh, it. If you disable it, for a lot of computers it can help, but I recommend you test this, right, set it to 1, because if you set it to 1, and you can see really really high FPS boost, but for some PCs it can queue stutters, so I would recommend test this, um, I will use it for 1, because it's better for my computer, but um, I will set it to 0. For you, you can just change it, change this value. Now, memory management optimization. This optimizes uh, memory and RAM speed, and you will see FPS boost and um, also small smaller input delay. Now, go to RAM, and here you need to select which RAM you have. So, if you don't know which RAM you have, go to Task Manager performance and here you see how much RAM you have. I have 8 gigabits so I will run this. Now go back and go to tools and here you can see these tools. We will start with compact RAM cleaner and here you can see how much um, RAM is in used and here you see clear and RAM plus cache. I recommend you select RAM plus cache and you can see here just start files okay so click clear and every time you click clear you can see I get like 40% <laughs> down for my RAM so this is really good um, FPS boost and I recommend you run it every time you can also do this um, Windows R plus Windows key plus R and write shell start up and just copy this and place it here this means it will run on every time your PC boot it will run this and you can just clear your RAM or you can go to settings and here ch check this run where my computer starts and um, if your RAM go to 80% you can select the value um, it will delete it but yeah, I think 80 or 70 can be really good, so I will set it like this. Here we can start minimize tray, so you will see it here. And some visual settings. So yeah, really set RAM plus cache, and you can close this. And remove it from this, from this if you set it in the settings. Now go to device cleanup, and here go to op you go to devices, select all, and again devices and remove selected. Um, this lower your input delay, and this is just really fast and really good. 
MSI Utility run as administrator and in NVIDIA or your GPU you can try set it this to high and also for a USB um, for some computers this don't must be good so set it to default values I recommend you to test this also make sure it, all MSI boxes are checked apply and close it and now ZV timer this is just timer resolution here you can start with windows and here I recommend you click set max this will lower your timer and you will see or in input delay so this is really good for every game because lower delay is every time good now you can close it and go to this basic rec file here are basic tweaks which are really recommend to have every time in your pc and this is just everything performance boost uh, input delay and also pink mouse delay fix this just optimize your mouse to get um, better accuracy and um, lower the delay of the mouse now right click on desktop go to display settings go to advanced display and here make sure you have selected the highest number now go back and go to graphics here change default graphic settings and make sure all these box are ticked uh, if you do it on windows 10 you will see only hardware acceleration but on windows 11 you can check this now click gaming go to game bar make sure it's disabled go back and go to game mode and make sure it's off now go to device manager find high precision event timer and disable it you will click on the device and click disable okay i can find it okay here click disable and it will look like this also do it for system timer and now go to universal service bus controllers right click on your usb properties power management and make sure this is unchecked we can do it also for another for example for mouse and here just make sure this is checked don't, don't do anything here okay now open file explorer and go to this pc right click here and click properties and here click advanced system settings on windows 10 you don't go to settings it will automatically open now in performance click settings and make sure you set it like me because these settings are set for performance and some quality like for example this if you dragging it um, it will don't look like this this is lo this looks very awful so i recommend you have it disabled this um, make better fonts and this is like this you can see the thumbnail of it so you can just don't must use it but it look better so i use it and now click uh, settings again in performance and go to advanced click programs and here you can set i recommend you set here your gigabits of ram you must write it in megabits so if you have 8 gigabits write 8000 and here 8002 if you have 12 gigabits just write 12,000 but I have 8 I will use 8 click set and for other drivers I recommend you click no patching files click ok go to data execution prevention and click this first settings apply and ok now right click on sound icon go to sound settings more sound settings go to speakers properties and here select this to dvd quality i will now don't uh, apply it because it uh, probably can destroy my audio of obs so i will don't do it but normally use it on dvd also disable the exclusive mode and disable all enchantments but if you really need good music for example i'm using this but boys and this but yeah 
you can just enable have enabled these settings but this can also help a bit in performance but this is really good go to communications and click do nothing here and click apply and ok and now the best performance boost for your computer also get the lowest input delay possible and the best latency um, Elysium V2 is in description also and here you can read about the Elysium also what will be in updates in a small game mode and here are 2500 tweaks which really improve performance you can click here performance you can manually set a lot of tweaks like this set the value here you can enable or disable the tweak so yeah here you can see IRQ priority or for one here is good for one two and here are a lot of other settings for example priority separation lowest latency moderate and performance so if you want balance select moderate but i want performance now flux to zero latency in 100 and a lot of tweaks you can set here and also disable it here is also config so you can just click load you can see it will apply so it's very simple experimental also set and here's also BIOS tweaks which have really good impact on our PC performance overclock monitor this menu you will have from for example from 60 Hz you can get 75 or more or only 65 it really depends on our monitor and custom power plan uh, I hope guys you like this video, wait for my other videos and bye.